Learners typically use the Next button to advance through courses built using Storyline 360. Let's cover how to connect our scenes so we can make sure the Next button always does what it should. In the example course that I've got here, there are three separate scenes and each of those scenes has three slides. If I use the Next button, I can go from slide to slide, but you'll notice I get stuck at the end of each scene. I would actually need to go over to the next scene, select it from the menu, the first slide in that scene, and then be able to start using the next button again. To fix this, we've got a few different options. If we take a look here in story view, you'll notice that the scenes are currently side by side, and that's really not the way that they should be. If we select the last slide in each scene, what we have happening is that there's a default trigger here that says, go to the next slide when the user clicks next. But the problem is there is no next slide. We essentially need to update this trigger at the end of each of our scenes to make this function the way that we want. We can either click this little chain link here down below each of these slides and say we want this to link to a certain slide or we want it to link to a certain scene. But really when you do that, all that's happening is it's just editing this trigger that I pointed out a second ago. So what I'm going to do is change this trigger and show you the two different ways that you can connect these scenes together. If we edit this trigger, and I'm just using the trigger wizard to do so, we could leave this as a jump to slide action if we wanted to, and then just tell it specifically which slide to navigate to. So in this example, we want to go from slide 1.3 to 2.1, so that's what we would do here with our trigger. As soon as we click OK, you'll notice that scene 2 is now down below scene 1, and that's exactly what we want. We actually want our scenes to be above and below one another. Now, another way you can do this is if I now want to connect scene two to scene three, is that instead of leaving this as a jump to slide action, I could actually just change it to a jump to scene action. And then from there, again, I've got two different options. I can either say next scene, and that would work because scene three follows after scene two, or I can click on next scene and I can change that to specifically go to scene three. You'll notice either way, when I click okay, it's now stacked on top of scene two like it's supposed to. You may even notice there's this red arrow that's pointing down from one scene to the next. Those red arrows are actually those very same triggers that we were just working on. Hopefully you now know how to determine whether or not your scenes are properly connected and how to fix them if you need to do so.